This week on The Feed, The Rock returns to the scene of the crime. Have you seen Wednesday's Dancing? Bad Bunny is the most streamed artist in the world. When I was 14 years old, every day I used to stop here at this 7-Eleven and steal a king-size Snicker bar because I couldn't afford to buy one. That was my pre-workout food. I did that for almost a year every day. First of all, the yes. Rock? Uh, yes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He didn't have any money. So he would go to this 1711 in Hawaii and steal a king size Snickers bar every day for a year, is what he said. So at, when he went back recently and he bought, I think, like over 200 Snickers bars. I gotta come back and I have to buy them, you know what I mean? You kids, look, look, listen, I'm trying to count all this. I don't need to hear your stories. Go tell Oprah. And he bought them and but and left them with the cashier and said, if anybody wants a Snickers, give it back to them. If somebody looks like they're stealing Snickers, give them me so they don't steal it. Thank you. Now, far be it for me to throw any kind of shade on Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah, we know. You, you know how I Crazy feel. Crazy loves The Rock. And I wonder if it's the same owner of that wow. convenience store. Like, are you repaying a debt to somebody that you don't owe it to? Hmm. Right? So someone got lucky. If I had, you know, his bank account and I was trying to make amends, I would have tried to find the, maybe the original owner yes. or the manager. Because he also said the person who was tending the store would look the other way. Like, almost like they knew that he was in a bad way. And oh, he I would... kind of love that. I know. So maybe pay off that person's house. Yeah. <laughs> The rock. Where's your Snickers? I love the fact that he did it. Yeah. I love the fact that he's been yeah. very open about the challenges that he faced as a young person. Yeah. And I feel like with him speaking out about those things, you know, there's a lot of, I'm sure, young people that are struggling, trying to find their way. That felt really, really good. I'm out. Snickers and 7-Eleven. He got fired from the CFL and with $7 in his pocket. And that's why his, his production company is called Seven Bucks Production. And I'm sure he couldn't imagine at that time in his, in his life that he would be like, you know, one of the biggest movie stars on the planet. I had to come back and buy every Snickers bar on those shelves. Friends, don't steal chocolate bars, okay? We don't no. steal chocolate bars. No, we don't. And don't if you're going to steal a chocolate bar, don't steal a Snickers Oh my bar. God, really? I like it. Oh, of yeah. all the chocolate bars you could steal? I mean, I mean, I think because he sold the, the king size one because it was yeah. hefty. Like if he wasn't eating regularly, it know. gave him a little weight to pump iron. I don't <laughs> Okay, Mr. Big. Mr. Big is I, good. Yeah, that would be mine. I do love. But are you are you talking about to be satiated? You know, or are you just talking about for a treat? <laughs> because he did the Snickers because it has oh. it's dense. Oh. <laughs> it's dense. It's Snickers dense. is dense. No, okay. I'm just thinking as a treat. Well, you know, Dwayne is a snack, <laughs> and we do like a dense snack. Hello. Have you watched Wednesday? And have you seen the dance scene that everyone's talking about? Quirky. It is eccentric. It's kooky and it's spooky. It's something, something to do. -key. Doot, doot. I'm watching it, and the first time I see it, I'm like, oh, this is kind of weird. And I'm like, of course it's kind of weird. It's meant to be kind of weird. And because of that, it's actual perfection. Now, I don't know how she didn't, didn't break face. I was trying to like even do some of the moves, and immediately I started blinking and laughing. And she's just over there, not blinking, not laughing, and absolutely slaying the dance moves. I'm gonna say, you know, I think it all goes back to being inspired by Thriller. Because <laughs> everything goes back to Michael Jackson for me. I'm not like other guys. And to see people falling in love with it, whether you love the original love. or you're really into this like YA situation happening with Jenna Ortega, it's amazing. She was being interviewed and she was like, you know, Tim Burton, he's a genius, he's amazing to work for. Of course, you know, we, we all know that. Yeah. But she did one take and she said she didn't blink. And Tim Burton came up to her and says, I don't want you to blink anymore. <laughs> When Tim, and when Tim Burton says, says jump, you say, and how high and straight up? Or do you want me to do a, a zigzag on my way? Okay, on the count of three, you and I are gonna not keep talking about this, but not blink and let's see how long okay. we go, okay? All right. One, two, three. Okay, because this is my thing. <laughs> I already want to blink so badly. She's got long scenes. Long scenes. There are lights, there are cameras. She's having a conversation. And then on top of all that, you she You blink has twice right now. <laughs> Yeah. I would disappoint Tim Burton. And, and you know what? She, she calls this the eyebrow stare, the Wednesday, at, the Wednesday Adams eyebrow stare. She's fantastic. That's how you. I think that's how you not blink. You see that? It changes it up. You you look through your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Why?
Well, we are, we're actually looking through eyelashes, I think I'm, I'm acting more like a Tuesday today. <laughs> <laughs> doot doot. Spotify Wrapped is out, and for the third year in a row, Bad Bunny was the most streamed artist globally, and get this, he had the most streamed album. Unstoppable, Tracy. I love me some Bad Bunny. I mean, that's an artist who has truly international appeal. And I have to talk about the fact that I don't think we Beyonce was really on top of that list. No, some amazing artists, Bad Bunny. Yes. You know, Taylor Swift, no surprise. The Swifties are always listening to her For nonstop. Sure. We've got some Canadians, Drake. In the weekend, like, hello, that's amazing. But no Beyonce? <laughs> I mean, you, I can't argue with any of those people yeah. on the list. My daughter has been blaring Midnight's since yeah. it came out. It, it's me, I, something. I get really curious and I'm like, what are my, like, what's been my musical taste this year? So I did it. Well, since my office is right across from yours, like my daughter, except for her Taylor Swift obsession, I never recognized any of the music. Okay, here we go, here All we right. go. This is my, this would be my festival. Okay, Fred again. Amazing DJ. Uh, Jack Kays. Oh. So um, good. Machine Gun Kelly. Hey. I've never heard restaurant lounge background music. Is that a whole thing or that's a genre? <laughs> <laughs> I really have like extreme taste. Like I really like hardcore DJ. Oh, Kings of Leon. I like a little rock, like a little indie, or I like like really chill restaurant lounge, like jazz music. Johnny Orlando, Leon Bridges. Amazing. So I, li I like your list. I know, it's kind of nice to look at it. But honestly, speaking of Taylor Swift, I don't not listen to Taylor, but I don't listen to Taylor all the time, and somehow she made it on this list.